बुझन इसको एउटा पार्टिकुलर केस सिनेरियो कस्तो हुन्छ भन्दाखेरि देयर इज अ फीमेल हु इज रफली 40 इयर्स ओल्ड शी इज सफरिंग फ्रम ल्यूकेमिया एन्ड शी अल्सो इज ह्याभिंग सर्टेन ब्लड डिसअर्डर्स लाइक शी माइट बी सफरिंग शी माइट बी ह्याभिंग एनी थ्रोम्बोफिलिक टेन्डेन्सीज लाइक शी माइट बी ह्याभिंग प्रोटिन सी और प्रोटिन एस डिफिसियन्सी अलग विथ द्याट शी इज ह्याभिंग माइक्रोथाल माइक्रोथालमिया एन्ड बिक एन्ड शी इज वेरिंग पोजिटिभ ग्लासेस Uh, because she is hypermetropic providing that uh, you link say ki sandha because hypermetropic uh, she is having small optic uh, small lamina cribrosa so they, thereby increasing the tendency of compression of the um, um, uh, compression of the central retinal vein uh, along with that she is having raised iop and she is also hypertensive so these are all the risk factors which contributes to crvo and because of this what will happen is that uh, it will cause occlusion of the uh, occlusion of central retinal vein and because of the occlusion of the central retinal vein it will uh, result into either decrease in the blood supply to the retina uh, that is manifested with non ischemic variety of crvo or it can be either uh, complete stoppage of the blood supply to the central uh, to the retina by the central retinal artery so that will result into ischemic variety of crvo so how would we differentiate both of these patient would come with uh, with painless progressive and gradual loss of vision and the visual loss will be slightly in case of non ischemic variety whereas the visual loss is very profound in case of ischemic uh, crvo uh, on examination we found couple cotton wool spot on doing fund on doing uh, um, fundus examination we found cotton wool spot in both of them but the amount of cotton wool spot is more in, uh, in patient with ischemic variety of crvo Uh, along with that as the whole of the retina is getting involved in the ischemic variety the pupillary reaction would show a paradoxical dilatation phenomena called as marcus gun pupil whereas it will be absolutely normal in this case so pupillary reaction are absolutely normal in non ischemic variety of crvo so this is how we differentiate uh, non ischemic from ischemic clinically then we proceed for a fundus fluorescein angiography on doing fundus fluorescein angiography we found that in patient with non ischemic crvo we find leakages hey right? and the leakage can be either in the form of edema hemorrhage or exudates whereas in ischemic variety of crvo we what we find is there is capillary non perfusion uh, because of the capillary blockage uh, there is no perfusion into the capillaries and that thus we see hypofluorescence pattern so hypofluorescence so this is what is seen in patient with ischemic variety of crvo so uh, and along with that in both of these cases what we can find is that we can find a specific finding called as splashed sauce appearance where uh, the because of the flame shape hypernase is occurring around the margins of the optic disc so let us consider this is an optic disc so around the margin of the optic disc we can see multiple flame shape hypernase called as splash sauce appearance which is particularly seen in uh, ischemic variety but it can also be seen in non ischemic and especially in ischemic variety what we find is something called as neovascular glaucoma uh, it is because of rubiosis iridis that can result into secondary angle closer glaucoma or secondary open angle glaucoma so it is also called as 100 day glaucoma which is seen in patient with ischemic variety of crvo so how would we go by the treatment so if a patient is suffering from non ischemic variety so our aim is to prevent it from going into the ischemic variety so what we do is that we provide the patient with intravitreal triamcinolone acetate along with that we monitor the iop because uh, of course steroid will contribute to the secondary glaucoma so we monitor the iop if the iop is raised we give we provide anti glaucoma agents and along with that we have to provide the patient with anti vasopressor therapy so drugs like bevacizumab ranibizumab so that the person of ischemic variety does uh, non ischemic variety does not to ischemic variety uh, sadly if the patient presents with ischemic variety of crvo then we have to provide uh, them with treatment measures like uh, pan retinal photocoagulation and it is a must uh, in this patient because uh, the aim is to convert the hypoxic retina uh, into the ischemic retina so that the retina will not produce any more growth factors that will contribute towards the pathogenesis the next thing is we can also provide them with anti vasopressor therapy vasopressor therapy and it should be given intravitreally so this is how we go by uh, crvo and this is a uh, brief summary on crvo thank you very much